Now, it's normally thought of as a blot on the landscape, but this week it could be a force for good. It's being used to inspire graffiti, that is, young people on one of the region's most deprived housing estates. The Bromford Estates in the Hodge Hill constituency of Birmingham, where more than 10% of residents are on benefits, the second highest rate in the country. But it's hoped this week's scheme will change attitudes both on the estate and beyond. Nadine Tao reports. <laughs> Graffiti can be a common sight here on the Bromford estate in North Birmingham. But this time it's being done for the right reasons. This cube will eventually become a piece of public art known as Bromford Dreams. We want to show that the media portrayal of the youth of today isn't really true. The, the hoodies and that stereotype is completely wrong because some of us are, are different and we, we can do things to help the community. We don't, we don't want to destroy it. This partnership between the University of Birmingham and the youth charity Worth Unlimited has attracted the renowned local graffiti artist Muhammad Ali. He wants to help inspire these young men and encourage them to aim high. It's easy to kind of have kind of doom and gloom with the kind of economic situation, not having a job, being treated in a certain way, being youngsters with you know hoodies, etc. But actually trying to fight against the grain a little bit and say, you know what, you can do something. The young men taking part this week are willing to learn and try something new. Their background may be far from privileged, but their attitude is positive. I've learnt a lot on the street, to be fair with you, and um, I've got a lot of willpower to get somewhere in life. I don't want to be a nobody. Everybody's got to work to get their job, and if you don't do what you got to do, then you're not guaranteed a job, you've got to work for your job, innit? It may not look like much today, but come the end of the week, this cube will have completely changed. It will be full of positive images and messages put here by the young men on this estate. The cube will eventually go on display at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery and will bring this group's message to a wider audience. But that audience also needs to be willing to learn. If people look at what we've done, it might open their eyes. For those who don't, it won't open their eyes. Not everybody's interested in Bromford. Nadine Towell, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. A handwritten